what's up everyone arctic here and today i'm going to be talking about gears judgment this is going to be a pretty brief video uh it's basically falling in line with the other videos that i've done on gears judgment uh, after my playtest at epic game studio of the game today i'm going to be discussing the classic hammer burst yes it's making its return back to gears judgment if you guys are unfamiliar with it it was actually in gears of war one uh, as a pickup weapon um, and you know you could use it in the campaign quite a bit after you killed some locust grubs or whatever whatever character was carrying it uh, you could use it there i didn't use it a whole lot in gears one i don't think a lot of people did uh, and the multiplayer was like one of those last resort type weapons uh, but that's where you can find it if you want to see it in action now i don't know how it in relation to gears one i can't really remember how it felt back then as opposed to now um, but this information was made available on Epic Games site and on Major Nelson's blog. I think he posted it first and that's where I saw it. Um, basically, this is a pre-order launch weapon. I don't know if that means it's going to just be exclusive at launch or not. That's kind of unclear to me. But by pre-ordering the game, you can get access to the classic Hammer Burst. Now, I'm not going to make this where the, you know, it's the Hammer Burst is stronger than this weapon or whatever. As I said in the free for all video, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to tell you guys how I used it. Now, this is a six shot burst. Um, I, again, I don't remember if that's how I shot in gears one, but the cadence really throws me off. Uh, it's, it takes a little bit of time to get used to the gun, a lot more so than uh, some of the others, I guess, because it's, you know, I haven't used it in so long. That could be adding to it. But uh, if you guys, if I could convey this to you guys, you guys kind of get it. The Gorgon to me has a really weird uh, cadence to it um, when you shoot it. So when I shoot my, uh, when I shot my classic hammer burst, I kind of had that same Gorgon type feel. And the more I used it, the more I understood it. So I think it's one of those things where because it hasn't been there for a while, it's going to take you a little bit of time to get used to it. I generally use it in a close to mid range uh, vicinity of when, you know, when I saw someone. And uh, it doesn't have like a, a second zoom feature like the hammer burst or the sniper or the pistol or anything like that. It, it feels very much so like the Lancer in that regard. Uh, so when you aim down your sights, you're only going to get that one zoom option. But I think generally uh, you guys will like it. I know having that variety there is going to be a big plus for a lot of people. I'm one of them um, because I've been advocating kind of throwing the classic hammer burst back into the action or at least changing the semi-auto into a classic camera burst for a burst shot. Again, it feels a little different, but in general, I think once you guys play with it, you'll get used to it. Uh, last thing I want to mention, guys, is the box art has been unveiled. You will notice that there are several weapons that no one knows the name to, except for this guy and some other people that went to the playtest. Uh, so when that information is made available, I will talk about those weapons as well. But in the meantime, guys, I want you to speculate on what those weapons are. Peace.